All right, guys, is this working? Perfect, it's working. Okay, so let's check your questions. I think I'm gonna do it like, don't put too much in the chat because I'm gonna do it from question to question, I think, because if I write it down, it's not gonna work. So let's check. Okay, let's start. I think we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna start just with the first question and then uh, we're gonna see if, if this works good or not. So the first question that I saw in the chat is, do we need to be registered somewhere to share or sell NFTs? Well, I think this uh, mentioned Miguel also in the call yesterday. So if you wanna buy like from the Ethereum blockchain, which is like the most common, like the best projects in my opinion, uh, over the uh, Ethereum blockchain, you have to have a MetaMask account. Yeah. So you have a MetaMask account and you also need an OpenSea account. So those two accounts you need like to, to sell, like OpenSea is, is basically the marketplace um, where you can sell all your NFTs and of course also buy from, from the floor. So yeah, you need to be registered. So make sure you have um, a MetaMask account and make sure you have an OpenSea account. And also I would suggest that you have a Discord channel like the Discord channel, you also need uh, to be registered because there um, is basically everything about the project written, right? So that's that's very important. And I would also suggest to have an uh, have a Twitter account because all the guys they they start with with Twitter. So that's basically like the platform for NFTs. I hope that answered the question. Are blockchains and cryptocurrency the same? No, they don't. I mean, you, the blockchain is basically like the cryptocurrency is the token, right? So if you, if you never heard about cryptocurrency, I think um, you, you can just watch the, the, um, the recording, it will come soon. But I mean, the cryptocurrencies are basically the tokens, right? So it's like the digi digital currency and the blockchain is basically everything um, where, the, where you can send a cryptocurrency, where you can receive it um, and everything, like every transaction, from cryptocurrencies, uh, cryptocurrencies are working over the blockchain. So of course they are like stick together, but it's not the same, right? Is MetaMask safe? Yeah, it is. How to overcompete the bots in Weave app to win drops? Um, yeah, well, bots are a big thing in in um, in the space of of NFTs, especially when you have like very very good projects. So I would suggest, for example, to, to buy from the floor when, there, when, you don't, when you cannot mint, because sometimes there's like the problem, if you actually get into the mint, there's like, um, they, call it, they call it gas war, okay? So a lot of people at once, they want to buy those NFTs or this NFT. And so the gas price is very high. And also it's not like 100% if you get it, that the transaction will go through. So there's written like pending and you can actually um, lose some gas. Like you just pay the gas, of course, not the, not the price for the NFT itself. But um, I would suggest if you know there are too many bots, um, maybe buy from the floor if you have the money, right? Because usually they have like a whitelisting before. So there are some already on the market. And if you, you know, know already good about the project and if you know that it's going, you know, higher or they have a good utility, they have a good roadmap, then you can also buy from, from the floor. Yes. Which NFTs should I buy now that will grow up in the near future? Well, uh, I, will not, I will not tell you some suggestions right now because otherwise uh, I got fucked, you know? <laughs> so I, I'm not allowed to do this actually. I mean, there are some good, there are some good um, NFT projects. And I think the guys yesterday also told uh, you guys, um, what what pages? Of course, you can check. For example, I mean, we can also um, afterwards when I when I answered all the questions, we can also go over some web uh, website which I'm using because I think it's most important that you just um, that you not just go with the hype. Of course, hype is hype is important because community is for me the first thing that I'm looking for in an NFT project. Um, but of course you have to you have to be on those pages like days weeks a uh, month before i suggest like 14 to 30 days before the project is going to mint like it's going to launch you have to you have to be on this project on twitter on discord and stuff like that so you have to check how's the community well because 
like the most important thing of course is uh, is community but also the art right so if if the art is not is not nice no one would would buy it right no one would buy it because if i'm always looking like is this nft looking nice because i i want to have like a nice nft which i maybe can put on instagram or whatever so you know that that game so that's very important secondly of course the community like um, how many uh, followers they have on twitter for example how many uh, people are on the discord channel and very very important not just how many people are on the discord channel also it's very important to check if the people are actually like um, active in the chat because if they are not active in the chat usually it's just bots you know so you have to check like is it just copy paste or are there like really real people that are getting excited over the project not just uh, i don't know uh, speaking about bullshit right in, in the chat they have to be like excited about the project if that is not the case i would buy the nft that's that's like a tip of mine which you can also use why can't nfts be duplicated well it's like a like a one piece right one piece of art because uh, you can also see it on the blockchain like of course like it's it's about like the transaction so you can check actually every like for example over of the blockchain ethereum you can check on ether scan so you can actually see really like any transaction which is made on these nfts right so that's why you know it's it's like a one piece right are there any else nft marketplace besides of OpenSea? yeah they are like on the solana blockchain definitely but i think they they also need like a better better marketplace there so that's why right now the most like the biggest project are on the ethereum blockchain but they are also like solana uh, blockchain like the solana blockchain where it's also like a different marketplace but for my side i'm always buying from ethereum blockchain because they are like the biggest projects and they are like the most interesting for me can nft have more than one owner at the same time no because if they are like like a one piece right if they are unique of course you cannot have um more than one owner you can transfer it actually like you can transfer it to your friend or whatever you can i don't know if you bought like a nice nft and you want to um share with your friends like if you want to i don't know if you need like a birthday present like me i'm i, I don't know i never know what i can can uh, yeah give to my parents and to my sisters so maybe i'm gonna you know uh, give her an nft in the future but uh, you cannot have one like more than one owner uh, nft is being dropped only once um good question like sometimes like you have to differentiate between like the pre-sale the white listing and like the public sale so basically like if you're on the like if you're a holder sometimes they are like projects for example if you got those this nft you will have the access for upcoming nfts nft projects for example so this is like the first stage like the owner of um of other nfts like in in the in the in the present or before right then if you're on the whitelist okay this is like the second drop usually and after the whitelist usually there is like the open like the uh, the public sale so yeah you have like three drops usually sometimes there are four what are trending nft category now well you can check you can just check on open sea like we can we can also check this one here um i can show you some some pages i think that's that's quite nice if i if i'm going to go through it maybe some some of you guys missed the call yesterday so let's check some some pages here so for example we have here open c so you can just check like uh, the top nfts right now so you can see here last seven days last uh, 24 hours last 30 days so you can check which projects are the best like right now on open c there's like obviously the board ABH club you can see here the volume is traded in ethereum also like the volume um, within the 24 the last 24 hour seven day and what's the floor price so if you check for example the board ap club this is this is like a crazy project um so let's check here some guys wants to get in so this is like a crazy project like weeks ago there were like 60 six, like two weeks ago i think it was floor price 60 60 ethereum this is crazy and now it's like 116 like almost 117 and for you guys just to explain what floor price means this is basically like the i would say the the weakest the weakest person in the community wants to sell for this price so this is like the cheapest nft in this collection 
uh, on the market, right? So this it's this one here. So this is like the cheapest NFT of this collection, for example. So if you have 116 Ethereum, you can you can check how much this is, right? <laughs> so uh, this is like basically 313 thousand uh, uh, dollars. You can buy it right now. Yeah. So yeah, this you can check also. Um, let's say. Here, this is a very good, a good page, Compass Art, Compass.art. Um, here you can see like the, the most trending one right now. Uh, also, you can see um, which projects are minted right now, right? This is, a, this is a very good page as well. So you can actually see like live mints, like the, the, the sale, okay? So if you, if you can mint it, not, not on the open market. Okay, so my internet is crushing. Um, okay, there you go. So right now, for example, the Mutant Ape Planet was minted, right? One hour mint, 1.02 mints per hour. You can always check here um, what, which projects are minted right now. This is also a very, very nice page. Um, what page else can we show? Um, how to get to trending NFTs. Let's check. Um, well, also important is minted for example i can also show you this one this is not trending but um yeah let's get out of the context you can also check rarity sniper so if you actually got minted one you can check here um for example um let's go for board ape yacht club right let's check this here okay if my internet is working whatever if not just check it by yourself because this is like the best page for me. I'm using this one. If I got minted like like uh, like a collection, I can see here actually um, like the properties of the of the like how rare my NFTs actually are because there are a lot of people that are actually do don't know about the rarity of their NFTs, so they're just selling under under their prices actually, right? So you have to you have to double check here be be before you actually sell, right? That's a very good good page also. So Moby, um, Compass, and for the rarity of your NFTs, NFT, um, like the rarity sniper. Okay. So, how did your first four months look like with iGenius and NFT and your business? Well, um, when I when I started iGenius, I uh, didn't know about um, NFTs just just uh, to make that sure um i started uh, with my genius in september 22 so my first four months um everyone who knows me I, I played soccer before um like professionally and of course i had like a big ego so if i built my own business i thought i, I was like the best already so <laughs> that was like my biggest problem in the, like let's say first one or two months but um if you actually like like get yourself into the business. And if you really want to achieve something, if you have goals, if you have a good structure and a, and a good company, of course, which is iGenius, then uh, yeah, you, you, you can very go far, I'd say, right? So the first two months uh, I was too arrogant, I think, but uh, after that, it, it was, uh, yeah, it's actually skyrocketed for me. But uh, my, my first ex experience with NFTs was very nice, right? Uh, I, I got a very good one in the beginning. So yeah, I got I got lucky, I'd say, but uh, actually it wasn't lucky because we have like the the, the very nice educator Jay Pell. So he helped me a lot, like with Learn Live. Uh, you guys actually saw yesterday, so you have actually the the chance to learn from experts on the field, not just um, just with um, NFTs, also with crypto um, stocks um, trading, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Everything what I learned basically, because I didn't know anything about investments. I had two stocks or whatever. So I was very shitty in investments and investment mindset. But everything what I learned actually was over iGenius and the, the experts, right? Stefan Kassing, um, Jay Pell yeah, now with, with NFTs. So I'm learning from, from experts. I'm not an expert before, right? And I wouldn't say I'm an expert right now. I mean... I know I know some good stuff about NFTs because this market is very excited, exciting, and um, yeah, I'm always like every day I'm checking those pages. It's like it's like crazy, but yeah, I, I learned everything from from my genius and um, my experience were very very nice in the first four months.
can I make my own NFT and sell it? Actually, yes. A friend of mine, he's like a, like an artist and he did this. So yeah, you can. So if you're a good artist or if you know someone who is a good artist, let's go for it. Yeah, you can, you can. But first, of course, good art. And afterwards, of course, you also need a good, um, good community. So yeah, start with that genius that you have a good, um, good, good opportunity to have or to gain like good people that will buy your NFT if it's good, right? I, I would buy it actually also if it's good. <laughs> so just text me a message if, if it's a good one. <laughs> um what about the impact of cryptocurrencies and nfts on the environment well that that's like a question which i can i can explain or i can talk about like like an hour or something um cryptocurrency is for me like the future like the blockchain is for me the future like we we live in a digital world right it's it's getting more and more digital it's getting you know we are always on the phone and the meta world and everything which is coming we are basically already living like in an online world right we can we can do everything online and nfts are for me also the future and i'm telling you why and this is maybe something which someone is someone didn't told you yet so of course we see like the nice art we we see the utility behind it because of course the utility is always always important like what's behind it what's the roadmap of of the company what's the roadmap um of the pro, uh, of the of the nft owner Right? This is very important, but think about it in a different way. Of course, we can, you know, if you have like the Mona Lisa, for example, of course, uh, we know it's in, it's in Louvre, right? But we don't actually like 100% know that's the original one, is it? So we can actually fake it. We can fake the Mona Lisa, but in this case, it's like a unique art. It's like a unique art, which is basically on the blockchain and you can check every transaction so it's very unique, but think about it in a different way. Think about it, for example, cybersecurity, okay? So um, like we have a digital world, of course, we have a lot of positive things, right? We can, we can send like, like a message over the world and he's receiving it in seconds, right? That, that's great. We have so many opportunities over the internet, over the digital world, but there are also negative points, for example, cybersecurity. So, um, for example, our information, like what we gonna, what what we are buying, what uh, what we are doing in, in our free time, who who is our who is our friend, whatever, like every information basically is on the internet, and every information about yourself is also with all the big big guys, like for example the CIA and whatever. So just think about it, like we have cybersecurity, like hackers and stuff like that. Okay, so. Imagine, imagine for example, um, the USA or Germany, like the, the state actually, got hacked. Guys, we are fucked. We are, sorry for the wording, but basically we are fucked because like, like the hacker, he actually had all our information about myself, about you guys all in the call. Like, like all our information are, are saved somewhere, somewhere, right? They are saved somewhere. Right, so where we use our credit card, actually, someone can can check it, right? So, and imagine our state, like Germany or whatever, Portugal, um, the U.S., they gonna use like NFTs or the blockchains to save our information. This would be like a game changer. And guys, I'm telling you, this will come. This will come because. If someone wants to hack the blockchain, he basically would like, like he needs to be at 51% of all the servers worldwide, like on the planet, he, he, he needs to be like, he needs to have access to those. And this is like impossible guys, right? 51%, he needs to, to have access at one time in the, in the, in the same second. That's not important, that, that's not possible. And if we do this on, on the blockchain with, with NFTs, Cybersecurity is 100% safe. So you guys know, I can I can speak about this topic like one hour, but there is a lot more about the blockchain. There's a lot more about NFTs than just just uh, art. There's so much more. There's so much more. They are creating like with a meta world. They are creating basically like an online world, right? You know those 
VR VR um, things, right? Where you can actually do the gaming stuff. But guys, that that's just the beginning. Like also, of course, if I tell this my dad, I, I spoke with my dad, for example, about this one, about this topic, and I told him, "Hey, um, Papa, um, the, your meetings will be will be with with the, those four way out um, things, right? You will you will do this online. You don't have to fly anymore to 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 Dubai or uh, I don't know where he wants to fly, right? He can do this actually like face to face, not just over Zoom that we that we are doing it right now." You can actually do it like in a meta world. You can stand in front of each other. And that's crazy. So I spoke about it like five minutes, but the impact of cryptocurrency and NFTs on the environment will be extraordinary. Do you need to pay taxes for the money I make on NFTs? Yes, you have to do it. It's like an, an asset. So check with your, your finance um, advisor. So of course, but there are actually also like also with rarity tools like the rarity sniper or you do you still see it you can actually you have like a like a space where you can actually like um, check your um, taxes and stuff so i'm going to do it like this okay mm. how do i see if the nft has potential yeah i already i already checked like or i already showed you right now the the pages that i'm using so i'm going to show it again right in a quick way so I'm, I'm checking it here, like what is right now, explore page, what is minting right now. Um, actually, you can also check what like big, big investors are investing. You can basically like check every transaction, right? Here you see what they're doing, like 1.5 Ether just uh, went into what, what do you call it here? Troy Ozinov, it's already sold, right? So you can actually see like live transactions here from big whales, like big investors, you say. Right? Those pages are like necessary to be very, very uh, successful into the NFT space. Here also, you can see which is trending, minting now. And I, and I told you, right, um, which points are for me very important. So wait, I'm gonna put all the numbers here. So, right, I'm, go I'm gonna say it again. So very important, number one is the art. Is the art nice? Do I like the art? Do you like the art? Because if the art is not nice, uh, like it, it's, yeah, it's very, I think nobody will, will buy it actually. Like if it's a shitty art piece, there will be no, no big community. So that's like the first point I'm looking for. Uh, the second point is definitely like the community. I'm gonna check like uh, the Twitter space. So if, if they have a good amount of Twitter followers, also very important, not just the follower, also like the engagement on the posts. So. It's like the engagement on the po on the posts are good, um, right? How many likes? How many how many followers? How many interactions? Like like comments on the post. This is also important. Um, after that, I'm gonna check the the Discord. Usually, it's tagged on their on their Twitter. Uh, make sure that you they're checking the the right project because there are scammers also. So be careful always. Um, and then if I if I check if the project like if the Discord is big. So for example, they have like 100,000, 200,000 uh, members in the Discord. This is this is a pretty decent number, right? But then I'm getting in the space. I'm getting in the space. Uh, I'm checking like for one, two days if the community is actually like excited about the project, okay? So the guys speaking about the project and not about nonsense, like not about shitty stuff, right? So if they, I don't know. They speak about uh, how the day was, and that's the only thing which is which is happening in this Discord channel. Ah, maybe I would buy it if the rest is good. Maybe yes, but that's like the four points um, that I'm looking for, like from one to four. Um, how to make NFT to sell? Well, if you're open C, you can just you can just put it on the free market. I am 17. If I sign with a genius, do I have to create an account with my parents? Yeah, you are just, you, you have to be, yeah. You have to be 18. Otherwise, if your parents are okay with that, you can also do the account, I think, with your parents. How did you get the confidence to, to start? Man, I didn't like my, I didn't like my life, you know, so I had to do something else. <laughs> no, I mean, actually, if I talk about myself, uh, I, I, as I said, I was like a football player. So I had, I had like a big ego, but this was just like from the outside, you know, 
from the outside, I knew everything better than than someone else. I mean, I guess I guess some football players will be here, and I know they know what what I mean. But uh, actually, I was like a shy guy. I was a shy guy. I hated to speak in front of people. Today, it's like 178. I don't have any problems. It's like I'm speaking with my friends. You are my friends here today. So I actually didn't had I didn't have the confidence in the beginning. I just wanted to to do something else. I wanted to learn something else. And I'm so grateful for myself um, that I that I took the decision, that I took the opportunity uh, with my hand. Um, and now I'm the person that can speak in front of people. I hated it to speak even in front of my friends in, in my class and stuff like that. So it's crazy. I didn't even like it to, to call a restaurant. Also, also when I was like in, in uh, uh, on vacation, I always ask my sister if she wants to have an ice cream so she can buy me one. <laughs> but yeah, you you just have to start believing in yourself, uh, believe in your mentors. There are like great people here on the call as well, which can help you with ideas, with NFTs, with crypto. You you have the experts which are working with the company as well. Stefan Kassing, Jay Powell, and a lot of more guys, you know, big, big leaders here. Uh, I, can, I can see a lot of them right now. <laughs> no, guys. You don't get a shout out right now, <laughs> but there are many. Okay. Um, my understanding is, is that we can't cash out from Weave. So when do you think we will able to cash out from Weave? Good question because actually I, I don't use Weave. So I'm not the best um, person to ask the questions about Weave. So maybe get back to the person that, um, that showed you this here, and maybe she can she can ask you, uh, she can explain it to you. Okay, same question. Can you invest in crypto and NFTs under eighteen? Well, no. You need like you need your parents to help you with that, because uh, like you have to be eighteen for all the platforms which you which you need. Which NFTs should I buy now that we grow up, grow up in the future? I already said it. Check by yourself. Um, I gave you like the roadmap um, to, to check if, uh, if an NFT is good or not. Always, always, um, like it's always risky, you know. It's always risky, like the space is, is risky, of course, um, with all investments. But if you do a good research, it's actually not risky. So not just go into a project without researching, without checking the points that I just mentioned. Um, but if you do it, um, it's, I would say it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's it's one hundred percent safe, but you know what I mean, right? Investments are you can never say they're one hundred percent safe, but it's more risky not to invest, I'd say. Um, once you sell an NFT, do you lose the ut utility? Yes, you do. You do. Usually, you do, yeah, because the, the utility is just for the holders, right? Depends on what what project you have, right? So usually it's like access for something, for example. Um, and if you sell it, of course, you don't have access for future events or uh, whatever the roadmap, the utility is from the project. Why would you recommend to start with iGenius? Very great question. Because iGenius helped me from my, from my side like to, to gain confidence, to gain like knowledge about cryptocurrency, stocks, everything, trading. Um, I actually made like good, good money. Um, they showed me how to how to make my own online business. So iGenius is in this space for me, the best, best company. Um, they are publicly traded. It's like an American company, which has to show every number. Uh, and this is not normal guys in this space. So we're talking about crypto, we're talking about NFTs and a company which is like publicly traded. So um, it, it's not always there. So they have to be transparent, like the SEC, is always checking if they do everything right. Uh, you can buy actually a stock. Um, the the owner, like the CEOs, Brian McMullen, and all the other guys, they are very like they are excited about the project. They want to grow actually the 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 name of the company and the company itself. So they always bring more stuff on the table. They are not just with hype. Uh, this is also also in this in this uh, space. It's always about hype, like almost right. But here it's about numbers, it's about facts, and that's why I would recommend to start with that genius. Is it better to mint or buy NFTs? Well, if you mint, it's usually cheaper. 
how do I start doing crypto in real time, not like studying? I don't get the question actually. How do I start doing crypto in real time, not like studying? You mean, you mean you want to want to start like within the seconds? You you have to be more clear with the question. What makes the NFT to grow in value? For example, I buy one for two hundred dollars, and in six months it's worth three k. But what makes it actually grow? Well, it depends on a lot of factors. So. Um, basically, like if you have a project which is which has like a big, big, like a nice utility, like a good roadmap, like there's a lot of hype. A lot of people want to get in, but it's limited. For example, we have like five five k of NFTs in the in the collection, but you have like two hundred k of of uh, people that are in the Discord, for example. So two two hundred k of people wants to wants to get in, wants to gain the access to do, uh, to those utility. Uh, like the positive things about the utility, right? So, uh, of course, like it's always always about like what's on the market. Um, also, also, you know, if you have gold, for example, or crypto, of course, if a lot of people wants to get in, uh, of course, the prices will go down. It uh, will go high, right? So, first, of course, the value, long-term project. If they give more value on the table, um, right? Because it's not just they start with the project and they don't do nothing they always put more on the table. So for example, also there are like passive income streams. So uh, Creeps Genesis, for example, is like a good example. We can also check this on OpenSea for a second uh, that, you can, that you can actually um, understand what I mean. Um, I'm gonna check this one here. What time is it actually? Oh man, I just put the chat away. Oh man, you guys are crazy. Okay, we don't check this because there are so many questions I have to answer. <laughs> oh man. Okay. There we go. So also like what I wanted to say, there are also like like NFTs which which basically give you like passive income streams. Like Creeps Genesis, Genesis for example, look it up. Um, you 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 basically gain like uh, like cryptocurrency if you are a holder like every day. It's like between 50 and 200 dollars every day so that's why of course this is like a like a big big thing right that's why um if you have good uh, utility it's like usually going going up but they're always like the people what i what i wanted also to say with every with every project they're always like the people that doesn't know about nfts they doesn't know about the utility they doesn't know about the worth of the, the actually worth of the nft so they're putting actually on the market for low than than the value so that's why sometimes projects um are even even like under the mint price sometimes right so you have to sweep the floor i would say like you have to sweep the floor to buy like low okay um and then then of course the floor price is going up you know so that's that's very important so the utility basically is everything and of course if you have like a like a community which is completely behind um, the project it's not like a paper hand like a paper hand it's basically like a person which is looking for like five bucks of gain right so i'm always like in the long term i didn't sell any nft yet i have like i don't know 20 of them already so i i didn't i didn't sell it because i'm not for the short-term win right i'm for the long-term win so yeah you always have those paper hands i'd say i name them they uh, sell under mint price or they sell under value so yeah that sometimes it's like slowing down the project because people that just saw it maybe on OpenSea like you they see oh well the price is not that high i'm not excited about the project even though the utility is very nice what is the best site to buy nfts for me OpenSea. Which NFT you have, you maybe know it will grow up in the future. <laughs> I don't know if I'm if I'm allowed to to speak about my uh, my investments uh, in this in this call because a lot of people are in here. So I think we're gonna skip this question. Ethereum has big gas fees. That's unfortunately true. Yeah, but they are working on like uh, the Ethereum 2.0. So I hope they they gonna do it in the second quarter of this year. So let's see, then we don't have the big gas fees, but yeah, that's like part of the game, right? How did transaction fees work? 
and how can you profit of those? I don't get the question how you can make money from transaction fees. Actually, you have to pay them, right? Like if you, maybe you mean if you, if you sell, like if you are like the owner of the NFT, like if you are the artist, actually, you get royalties, right? So they're usually like between five to 10%. So if you are actually like putting the NFT on the market, like if you are the founder of the NFT, you always get like on the trade uh, on the trades, like five to 10%. Like I think two or 3% are going to the marketplace, which is for example, uh, OpenSea and five to 10% of royalties are going back to the, to the owners. Maybe, maybe that's what you meant. Do you choose which price to sell it at an open sea? Yeah, you can, you can put it whatever price you want. Again, how did your first four months look like without Genius? Great. What controls gas fees? Well, it's always the miners, right? So it depends. For example, if you have a big project and a lot of people wants to get in, the gas fee is usually, unfortunately, quite low, uh, quite high. But um, yeah, if you have like like good like good um, time time zones, right? It's usually like the U.S. time zone. For example, like uh, like in the in the evening, it's normally higher, and like at one p.m. or something, it's it's quite cheap. Uh, we, we had these questions already. How can I find NFTs with passive income? Low. Well, um, as I already said, like I put, I put the, the, um, the pages, I showed you the pages, so you can always check there. Um, I would say check the project 14 to 30 days in advance. Right. So you, the utility and the roadmap is always written down. Uh, go on the Discord channels, and there you see um, what actually you you get when you are uh, when you are the owner. Tips on trying to avoid scams to do with NFTs. Very very important question. Um, like the the biggest thing that I can tell you is. For example, in Discord, because everything is working over Discord, basically, if you want to check the community and stuff, um, go to the settings and like like put off the the direct messages, because there are a lot of people that are actually trying to look like the founder of the project and they send you a direct message. But I can tell you, no founder of any project will 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 give you like a direct message. So I'm. I'm doing it like this in Discord. I put like on the settings, uh, direct messages are off, so no no one can can send me actually a message. From which price starts NFTs? You can buy NFTs for five dollars already. Depends on what NFT you want to get in. Um, okay, so a lot of questions we already answered. That's good. Where can I learn about NFT from zero? Well, I would suggest to join iGenius. It's a great platform. As I said, I already learned everything from there. Of course, there are some guys from, from uh, YouTube as well, but I'm, I'm telling you, search for a mentor. This for me is Jay Pell, for example. He is my mentor in, in the NFT space and he's like the educator of iGenius. So in my case, I would, I would join iGenius. Okay, please, how can I buy an NFT after having a MetaMask account in OpenSea? So it depends on um, if you're using a laptop or, or um, a smartphone. So if you use like your smartphone, you have to log into MetaMask and then go to the browser. There's like a browser there. You have to put OpenSea in and then log in. You basically connect um, the two things like OpenSea and MetaMask. And then you can buy um, on the open market on OpenSea or you use um, the minting pages of the new projects and you connect uh, those with Meta, MetaMask. So a lot of, lot of questions.
Is it true that you should close all Chrome tabs using MetaMask and leave only tab you are planning to use connect because other tabs could be used by hackers to read your transactions ID and send fake notifications? Um, yeah, I'm always doing like one, just one tab, but I didn't hear, uh, I didn't hear about like hackers can, can access your IP address because you're just giving it to the owner, like to the project itself. So that's, shouldn't be a problem, but I'm always doing it just with one tab, but I'm always secured in my, in my browser as well. Uh, NFTs protected by copyright laws. That's a good question as well. Of course they are. So of course a founder, which is for example, using like, I don't know, a McDonald's logo or whatever, if it's going high, like if it's going big, uh, he could get, get a problem, but that's not your problem. That's the problem of the owner. But yeah, a lot of NFTs actually have like uh, partnerships, for example, there's coming like some from Gucci, for example. So the big, big brands are going into the NFT space as well. So they are creating basically uh, their own NFT. So that's very exciting. Um, how do I change my demo account to a real crypto trading account? Depends on what broker you are. Just, I, I cannot answer that just by the question. Do I have to be on the whitelist to first mint NFT? Um, no, you don't have. Um, as I already mentioned before, they are like basically usually three, three, um, three minting phases. So the first one is usually for the owners or, or like the holders of different projects. The second one is the whitelist. Of course, it's very good to be whitelisted on a project. And the third phase is usually like the public mint. So if you get lucky, if you are like first come first serve, of course, then you can also mint on, on the public. So without whitelist, but it's always, always good to have the whitelist spot. If you are an emerging artist, how do you grow your community? Well, go outside, speak with people, speak with 20, 30 people at one day, show them your art. It's always the same. It's about your business. It's, it's about your art. Um, people have to see it. Go your Instagram page, whatever. So there are different ways to do it, right? Speak with the right people and that's it. So do we have different questions? Guys, ask once he's reading everything from up. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I get like basically the same question like 30 times. <laughs> um, how do we actually transfer money on, for example, MetaMask? Um, well, I'm doing it, for example, about my brokers. So I have, have money on Binance, for example, there are, but there are many more um, like brokers, which you can use actually, like, like cryptocurrency uh, wallets. And if you have their Ethereum, you just have to send it via the uh, ERC network. And then uh, you have your Ethereum on your MetaMask account. So it's basically like uh, just transferring your money from one to B. It's one, one to two. Um, Solana, I don't know what that question means. There's the Solana blockchain, yeah. Solana, Polygon, Ethereum, they are like the three biggest um, blockchains for NFTs. Where do we place our NFTs? Um, on OpenSea, like OpenSea is the marketplace. Solana has smaller gas fees, that's true, yeah. But the biggest projects are actually on Ethereum blockchain. Feel you. <laughs> um, what's the difference between minting and buying the NFTs? So basically like the minting is that you're creating, that you're creating it. So it's like, I'd say it's like Lotto sometimes. So if you mint, you get like one, NFTs out of the collection and it's, you know, you, you, you don't know because before reveal, you don't know which one you got. So it's like always the number, but uh, if you buy it, like if you buy it from OpenSea, if it's already revealed, you can see actually the, the picture, for example, but you can also buy it when it's on the market, when it's not revealed, but then you don't know what you're buying. So basically like 
I would say creating like in the first space you created agree you creating it via the blockchain and on a buying it's like on the on the on the open market what is the best website to trade crypto man there are there are so many depends on on what you like there are ftx binance etc etc so i can i can name a lot of them but ftx and binance are my favorites How does the value of NFTs grow within so short period of time? What makes the value increase so much? Community, man, community. And of course the utility. So if you have a great community, which is basically like seeing the, the value which you get, it's usually like growing a lot, especially like if you have um, like, for example, passive income streams via, via the NFT, everyone wants to get in. How can I get on whitelist? This is a question which we didn't get yet. Um, well, you actually um, go on, on those websites that I showed you, like where you can check um, the upcoming projects. Okay. Um, I'm going to show it to you um, as well, which uh, second. So you basically go on, I'm doing it this way. I'm going to show you. So you bas basically go on rarity tools. Okay. Now, wait a sec, I did forgot this one. So, so you basically go on, on rarity tools. And then I would suggest that, that you check like the upcoming projects. So you go on upcoming, which is, which is here. So you can basically see which projects are like upcoming. Okay. And then I would suggest that you go um, to the projects, projects, which are like, um, which are coming in like 14 to 30 days because you need time to get whitelisted. This is not just like a pro process over one day. So you check here, let's go here, put this away, Friday. So check like 14th of February, maybe. Yeah, so that's gonna be exciting here. Okay, so let's check it. So we're gonna see it here. So this, for example, I don't like the art, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But th this, for example, right? That's quite nice. So I would check now on, on Twitter, okay? How many followers do they have? Um, then I'm gonna go into the Discord as well and checking, hey, how many, how many followers they have. And usually in, within the Discord channel, they have like a button where you can put like how to get whitelisted and then you basically just do uh, what they say. And that's how you can get on whitelist. Okay. Okay. Do you need money to make an NFT? Mm, yeah, well, yes, you do. Like if, you, if you're an own artist, then you don't have that much money uh, to, to invest. But I mean, you always have to check the long term because if you don't invest, for example, in marketing, like if no one is seeing your NFT, it will not be successful, right? So you have to put, for example, money in marketing. Um, what is the hype behind the NFT? Well, it's exciting, right? Everyone wants to get in something new. Me too, <laughs> me too. So I'm excited about those projects, man. Imagine imagine you would have minted like the board Ape Yacht Club for 0 0.2 Ethereum. Now it's like 106 Ethereum. You can basically be like on a yacht with Eminem, with Snoop Dogg and stuff like that, right? I think that that sounds quite nice. Also, I got like, I got actually like in a project where um, I have access to like the, um, the NFT convention in Miami. So I can basically, because I'm a holder, I can, I can fly to Miami. They, they actually buy me the flight, I think. And, um, I can, I can chill with some nice guys, uh, at the, at the, uh, Miami NFT conference. So that's quite nice. So the hype is coming. The hype is real. I would say, what does mint mean? Yeah. It's basically like creating like, yeah. Uh, how do I tell the world about my NFT? 
as I said, go out, go out, go out, speak with a lot of guys, uh, of course, do good marketing, um, do good art, and um, eventually you, you will get successful. But of course, uh, you know, there's Da Vinci. He, he got a lot of hype, but maybe out there is someone who is better than him, but he had luck. So it's, it's sometimes it's also uh, luck. Um, how can I start learning with iGenius? So I would say you write the person that gave you access to this, to, to this call and also to the bootcamp. And this person can help you to start with that genius. So you always need someone who is already inside it because that's like the, the case. We always want that you like get like the perfect onboarding. So just text the person that invited you here. If I can make my own NFT, that means I need to make a great art and market it to a community. Well, you can also do shitty art. <laughs> you can also do a shitty art, but I, I, I'm just saying, um it's it's not going to be successful right because for me the most important thing is how is the art looking and if the art is shitty i i wouldn't get in personally i wouldn't get in the project so that's why of course like you need community that's the second most important point so uh the question is yeah like the answer on the question is basically yes if you want to be successful with your own nft Where's the difference between crypto coins, tokens, and ICOs? So basically they are very similar, like ICO projects. This is like the like a very exciting point. Like ICOs is basically like a project which you can buy um, at the lowest price. So this is like basically like NFTs minting. Yeah. So if you get access to ICO projects, it's usually before they get listed on, on the open market. So before they're listed, for example, on Binance and stuff like that. So th those are ICO projects, but also ICO projects are more risky than crypto, like just the normal coins that are already on the market, like the tokens, because of course, sometimes they, they don't get listed, right? So you always have to double check it, okay? So do your own research. But yeah, basically it's like the same, just that a ICO crypto project is uh, not listed yet on, on Binance, for example. Where, how to create an NFT on OpenSea? Yes, you actually can do it on OpenSea. I have to say, I, I haven't done my own NFT. So I know that you can do it. A friend of mine did it, but I'm not the biggest expert in like creating your own NFT. I just bought NFTs yet. Also with the question, how much does it cost? I, I don't know exactly. Can you show the process of buying Ethereum and transferring it into a wallet? Um, <laughs> this, we are already one hour here, so I think that takes too much time, but uh, you can text actually the person that in invited you here. And if the person has my number on my Instagram, she can just uh, shoot me a message because I have like an own academy with, with my team. So we did this actually like the process. So I can of course provide you with this um, video if you want. So just ask the person that invited you here and maybe she's, she or he is on my team. And if not, that's not a problem. Just shoot me a message on, on Instagram. Jona CZWIKLA. Oh, I, I said it in German, sorry for that. I put it in the chat afterwards. Uh, when is the giveaway? At the end, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make quick. I think we are already almost done. The giveaway is soon. Okay, question we have. I have crypto on crypto.com wallet. I can transfer money on from money from there on MetaMask. Yeah, I, I heard crypto uh, crypto.com is also working on its own NFT, but yes, you can actually transfer from crypto.com. Just, just use the right, um, like the ERC uh, network. That's very important. Do all NFT need Ethereum? No. Um, but if you do like the Ethereum blockchain, for example, with MetaMask, you need Ethereum. But if you if you if you do it with Solana, for example, it's Solana. So let's go, let's go, let's go. I think we are almost done.
how about the small artists? Because so far it sounds that only big people companies will profit. So yeah, that's that's unfortunate. I mean, we're talking about the artist itself. So definitely you need a community, but you have to believe in yourself, you know. Just because you're a small, small artist and you don't have the biggest community, that doesn't mean that you cannot be successful in the space. If you have like great art and someone is seeing it, um, you can you can eventually get successful. So that doesn't mean, you know, it's the same with business. So if you don't have any knowledge, uh, it doesn't mean that you cannot have the knowledge and you don't have the skills in the future. So just believe in yourself. And if you're a good artist, then go for it. And should be a message I will buy your um, NFT if it's a good one. Good question. If the ERC20 and ERC721 networks gives users such an advanced technology makes it possible to gain ownership of items, is it possible that Ethereum value will overcome Bitcoin? Is there other network protocols? Um, to your questions, if Ethereum can overcome Bitcoin, um, I personally think that is possible, but I don't see it in the near future because Bitcoin is for me like the main coin in the future. I think just looking over the percentage, like Ethereum will overcome Bitcoin definitely, but um, I think it's not gonna be the first. That's my personal op uh, opinion. Mm -hmm. How do you determine what a good floor price is or the just what you're willing to pay? It's basically what you're willing to pay. So just check in, in the Discord what the mint price was, for example. And of course, use the websites that I showed you to check the um, properties of the NFT. So how rare the NFT actually are, because some, some of the guys, as I said, they sell under the value. So you can actually uh, shoot your shot and um, maybe you can, you can make a good, good deal. Which other websites do we need to know? Moby, Compass, Rarity, Sniffer, OpenSea, Twitter, uh, Rarity Tools, Rarity.tools also, Twitter, Discord. Um, Yes, those are like the main, main things, main page that I'm using. Can I buy NFT with USD or credit debit card? No, you can't yet, but I think they, this will come in the future. What team were you playing for? I think I've seen you. <laughs> Personal question. Uh, I played in, in Hanover. So in Hannover, Harvese, they are playing like third league right now. You can check them, but they're sucking. Yeah. They suck. They are like uh, last place in the third league, so in the third Bundesliga. But yeah, I played for Harvese. But I was injured the last year, so that's why I, I quit football. And also Arminia Hannover, maybe you know it, but yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I think we are almost done, man. I can't see, if, okay, we get more question like every second. Um, okay, we got this question already. Da -da -da. Can you see? Can you sue someone to copyright the music or art, for example, that someone screenshotted it? Well, a lot of people are screenshotting it, but the most important thing is that you know that you have it on your blockchain and everyone, and you can prove it to everyone. Everyone can see that you have, for example, the best, uh, best NFT in the collection. Um, they just have to check the collection on OpenSea and they see that it's you. So I think uh, those are noobs that are doing like screenshots or whatever. So yeah. But uh, I guess you can sue them in the future, but. I wouldn't care as the holder. How does Igenius work? I would suggest because we, we are like almost one hour and 20 minutes also already in, in, in the space here. The person that invited you can send you a video or can talk with you about it afterwards. That's why this is for the Q and A. But if you have a specific question about Igenius, just put it in the chat, I will answer. I hear cryptocurrencies are used for illegal activities. Is that true? Well, fiat currency also, right? What kind of question is that, huh? I guess so, could be, could be. So now the light is gone, perfect. You can cash out. 
Okay, so my light is off. Let's put it on. Oh, guys, you're crazy. What is kind? I don't know what kind is mint, you mean, right? I already said it. Mm, if you're lucky enough to get one mint. Well, yeah, they're, they're interesting projects, which you can, you know, get access to. You just have to hustle sometimes in the Discord channel, but that's that's all right if you get uh, 10 ETH, right? If we make like big, big checks, it's it's fine. You can hustle a bit. <laughs> okay, so some guys want to get in. Okay, guys. Can NFTs be reworked by the artists? You mean like they're getting it back? I don't know the word actually, but that, no, they can't. Okay, I'm doing this a bit faster but because I think we are already a lot of minutes here. So after making art, you put it on open scene, what else? Well, then well, the people can, can buy it. Can there be used uh, another crypto values? Yes, Solana, Polygon. Can the wallet be hacked? You can always um, save it on, on, on a ledger. That's better, but it could be, uh, but your bank account can also, also be hacked. <clears throat> does it cost money to join a genius? Yes, it does. If you get great access to great information, it usually does cost, uh, cost something. Are genius payouts only in USD? No, you can also uh, get payouts in Bitcoin, for example. Um, how can you get whitelist? I already explained. Okay, guys, a lot, a lot, lot of questions. I think they are doubling here. So uh, if I sell one and if you are, I heard that the one one that buys them and can sell them again. Is it true that you can get a percentage of that again? Yeah, it, yes, yes, it's true. Uh, they call it royalties. So if you are you, like, if you are the artist, you don't just um, get like the, the mint price. You also get royalties on every transaction, like every trade basically, which is, um, which is doing like, which is, which are made on, on your collection. Is it possible to get a recording of the session? Yes, get back to me or the person that invited you. That's not a problem at all. When is the giveaway? It's soon, guys. But I want to I wanna be there for everyone. So that's why I'm here, you know, to, to get back to your questions. So it's not fair if we skip if we skip something just because of the giveaway. Don't worry. I will announce the giveaway. How do you find the utilities of the NFT? Um, you can check actually in the Discord channel or on their web pages, like on their website. <laughs> it's 10 p.m. here. <laughs> Go to sleep, no. <laughs> nice. Be nice to you, to you guys. Be nice to you. How long will it take uh, for one nft to grow that depends i would suggest to go for the long-term game but uh, you can also um flip the nfts right you can also uh, like make short-term money so if you for example get access to the whitelist if you mint for example for a cheap price um you're always able to flip it for 3x 4x 5x 6x so that depends on the project Can we do the giveaway? We're gonna do it. It is. What do you mean by communities? So basically like the people that are in, into the project, right? So the, the community behind it, not just the owner, like basically we, you, you can compare with a football team, for example, right? There's like a football team, which maybe, you know, in, in, in the, uh, not in the profi, like in the professional leagues, they have maybe like, uh, I don't know, 10,000 uh, fans of their of their city. And there's like Bayern Munich or whatever, they have a million followers. 
They have mil millions in their community. So that's that's meant by community. I like that NFT's future. Yeah, change it from like it to love it. I love it. <laughs> when does the giveaway start soon? After the call, guys, I'm checking every question because I want to be fair to everyone. Can I trust NFTs that are for free? Um, no. Well, like, like you can get access sometimes for free if you are a holder, for example, from the project before. In this case, yes, but I don't. I, why should someone like like is giving you a present? Like they don't have something from it. How is an NFT giveaway done? Well, basically you have to have a wallet. Like we need your wallet address and then we can send it to you, like transfer it to you. Do you have to pay taxes on NFTs or just the transaction fees? It's like a normal investment. So you have to pay taxes. Just ask your tax advisor. How many blockchains do we have? Oh, tons of them. Why can't NFTs be duplicated? I already said it. I really starting to love NFTs. That's great, man. That's great. I if I have Ethereum and MetaMask and Binance or Coinbase, how can I put them together? You can just send them. Transfer it. Is it possible that NFT loss loses the value and you lose money? Good question, because yes, it can. It's not a good project. You know, you can definitely lose money. It's still it's still an investment. Not every NFT that you're investing it is like getting 10X, you know? That's very important, guys, because like every investment is always like on the long term. And all the time you need you need to be like aware that also an investment is not going high. It's maybe a loss, right? I did also some losses. That's part of the game. Is it possible to join a genius as an independent artist and get help in terms of how to release your artwork on the market as an NFT? Um, I don't, I don't know actually because we are not like too much into like the artists in the NFT space. But if you want to learn about like NFTs, uh, iGenius is the right spot. Do you have info on airdrops? Oh, there are a lot of them. So you, you just have to check. What kind of wallet do you need for the giveaway? It doesn't matter actually, but, but I'm going to check with Miguel as well. Don't worry. If you win, we, we will get back to you and tell you everything. Don't worry. So if you actually win, we will tell you everything. So it's not like if you don't have anything ready, you, you don't get your, your NFT. Yesterday, Miguel said that the transaction fees of an NFT are distributed among the NFT community. How does that work? So basically, there are some, some um, projects that are giving away money, for example. So I'm, for example, in an NFT project, which is um, doing like a casino nights, for example, and they give away for the winner 50K, for example, every night. So um, for example, they get like a percentage of the royalties and also of the transaction fees. So they do it like in a pot. But of course it's different with other projects. So it depends on what they're doing and how they give away, for example, the money. My pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you so much for being patient enough to answer questions. Deeply appreciate it. My ple pleasure is mine. Are NFT the future of the art and collectibles? I mean, I think there will be still like normal art, but with the metaverse, it's going to be the future. It's going to be the future because then you, you have something which is basically copyright, right? You cannot fake it. Like if you are in the meta world, for example, you can say, I don't know if you like Nike, Nike Airs, for example, and you have like, I don't know, 1000 in the metaverse, you know, it's, it's kind of a flex, you know, just to be like a, one owner of 1000 um like yeah whatever, whatever right it's it's the same like basically it's the same like in our world like let's be honest guys right if you like uh you know the hype with the yeezys for example in the past like uh 
they always said, oh, well, you have a Yeezy that's really, really nice. And, you know, it, it is the same in the metaverse. So it will definitely be the future. Will you guys be hosting another bootcamp like this in the, in the future with free learning opportunities? Yes, we will. I'm already um, planning another one. So with my team, so you can also have access to this one. I've actually lost, so I just get a call. Wait a sec, I don't have time for that. So I've actually lost contact with the person who invited me. It is okay for me to message through on Insta so I can get started, please? Yeah, you can, of course. Uh, just check me on Instagram. That's my, my real name. I think you can you can show me, uh, like you can find me there. Thank you for answering so many questions. The pleasure is mine. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Perfect. Well, what's the time at your location? Uh, wait a sec. I'm in Germany, so 10, 10, 20 after 10 p.m. So yeah, guys, I think we finished. We finished, we are ready. So are you ready? Okay, a lot of people are coming inside. Are you ready for the NFT giveaway? So if you have any questions left, put it in the chat. I will answer it, but I think it was a lot. It was a lot. I hope I could answer every question quite good, quite okay. Okay, I see I see a lot of ones. I see a lot of ones. I think there you can do better. You can do better. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Who is excited for the NFT giveaway? So let's check here. I have to come with my smartphone because I have the flyers here who who is winning. So one 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 one. That's good. Seems like you you are excited. Seems like you are excited. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. So guys, we're going we're gonna to do it this way. First, I will give a, short, a shout out to everyone who attends this call. I really appreciate it that you took the time. I really appreciate that you took the time yesterday, like the three hours or something, whatever. So it's really great. Um, thank you for, for all the guys that, that were there as the speaker um in this in this call of course like miguel felix and, and all the other guys um and girls of course uh, and also for the for the german part as well I, i'm really thankful for that i think that yeah earns a lot of ones and we're gonna do the nft giveaway like this so i will give i will announce first the person that are already in the team because we're gonna do it 50 50 all right so we're going to do it 50 50 so, so those guys that are made this event big they also earn something right so we're going to do first the guys that are already on the team that won the nfts okay so i have like oh, that's that's looking great man that's looking great i oh man the guys they didn't they didn't do well huh i think the girls they earned more the girls they earned more i can see so okay let's do this this way i'm coming in the zoom and we're gonna see we're gonna check who won it so where's the link actually i have to check here all right all right all right all right i'm coming my phone is coming okay i don't need a video there you go there he is there he is so i have to give him the host, GC Wolves, where are you? All right. Okay, that's the wrong one. <laughs> okay, guys, you are ready, huh? I, I understood. <laughs> the chat is booming. The chat is booming. I like it. I love it. Okay, guys, I think we can do this quick because some of the guys that are already said in the in the in the chat they want to sleep. I'm very active now. I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to drink a energy drink as well. So, all right, let's check. Who's ready? Who's ready? Oh man, I hate, I hate those guys that are doing it, right? Those, hey, are you ready? Yes, man, yes, bitch. Say to me if I win or not. <laughs> okay, guys, so put on your cameras. Actually, I wanna see you. I, am, I just made you big. 
I just met you big. So Thomas, Liga, Kaspar, I hope I, I pronounced it right, huh? Clement, Neil, Rena, oh my oh my god, that, that, I'm not good in names actually. Norris, Kevin, Laura, Emil, Brittany, Linda, Sanji. I hope hope that's good. Sanji, Ranim, Victoria. Uh, where is here? Sandia. I hope that's correct. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Edgy, Edgy, Edward, Chelsea, Madison, Thomas, Kylie, Trent, what's up? Josipa, Maria, Dimitri, Katarina. Lara is ready also. Okay, 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 okay. Where is here? Miss Sarah. Oh man, I'm I'm not seeing it because this is translated. Dennis, Christops, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Rafi. Coutine, all right, that's good. And okay, so many guys. Marie, Levent, Alina, Brianna. Okay, you you all guys, they don't want to listen to my voice. Lilita, Siofra, Adrian, Barbara, Alina, Eva, Elina. Megor, Migor, I don't know, Christina, Brianna, Ad Adrian, Trent, I have a, all right, all right, all right, Jasmine, Matt, Sugo, all right, you're all ready, who is here, Barbara, okay, I had her already, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, first one, it's gonna pronounce, so let's see, let's see, let's see, where is it, okay, a lot of guys are excited, they're coming inside the chat room right now, oh man, this is, This is nuts, man, guys. You're crazy. I cannot even see my own. Oh man, I cannot even. Whatever. They are not. They are not allowed to come in. I cannot accept it anymore. Oh. Okay. Can you hear me? Because my airports are just broken. Okay. So, 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 so. Let's do this. So, first one. First one. Who won? Pretty decent number of uh, people that are on the call from her. First one is Zara Höfler. So Zara, you're the first one. Get back to Miguel. You're the first one. Big congrats. You won an NFT. So that's nice. Let's give some ones for Sarah. Let's give some ones for Sarah. Great, great. So she invited 20 people. That's great. So she helped to, to make this big. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna do it like quick, right? So because I hate those guys, as I said. So second one, oh, I can I cannot pronounce it actually. 60 people, crazy man. Second one, Giacomina Caras. I hope that's correct. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it well. Second one, get back to Miguel. He will get back to you tomorrow. He's flying home today, but he will get he will get back to you by the end of tomorrow. So that's the second one. Put some ones. Oh, you already do. Of course you do. <laughs> All right. Second one, Cynthia Gomez dos Santos. Also 60 people here on the call. Also 60 people on the call for inviting 60 people. Great, great work. Thank, thank you so much for your effort for this event. Also get back to Miguel. And fourth one, you see the girls are taking over. What can I say, huh? All right, next one, 20 people also on the call from Anastasia. So you can also get back to Miguel. He will get back to you as well. And last but not least, okay, no, it's not but last but not least, Chiara, also 60 people, great, great work. Appreciate work, your effort, great. And I think now it's last but not least for the partners, it's Michaela Kuskov. Hope that's also correct. So you are the sixth one who won the NFT. Let's put some ones, 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 ones. All right. I think they earned it. And if you didn't, next time. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to pronounce the people that won, that are not in the team, of course, that are not in the team. So let, let me check. I have already done it. It's already done who won so i have to check here mr miguel sent me the list so let's check let's check let's check let's check all right we're gonna start with the first one 
let's see if she's here. I think she was in the German call, so I guess she's not here. Um, also, girl, Angie Essa. So I guess um, Angie, get back to Miguel or he will get back to you. First one from the German call. Second one, finally a guy. Oh, man. Patrick Lötschert. Lötschert. I hope that's, that's correct. So Patrick Lötschert, the second one. Also get back to Miguel. He will get back to you by the end of tomorrow. Third one, yes, we are taking over again. Christoph Peitler, Christoph Peitler, congrats. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All of you guys earned and won an NFT. And now I think that's more exciting because I guess maybe the persons now that I'm saying are on the call. I hope so. I hope so. So the first one, I'm going to check in the chat if she's here. I'm going to check in the, in the chat if she's here. Maybe I'm giving it to another one. Oh, she is, in, she is here. Let me check if she has her, her camera on. Let me check if she has her camera on. Let me check because I want to see the reaction. Huh? Okay, she doesn't have the camera on, I think. Okay. So if I say your name right now, then you can maybe put your camera on so everyone can see you. But the first one is definitely on the call. So it's, I hope I pronounce it right again. Diana, oh my, oh my goodness, Korshaktmenova, whatever. I hope you are, you are here. You can hear me. Or oh, she is here. She is here. Reaction is good. So congrats, congrats, Diana, to the NFT. So uh, Miguel will get back to you by the end of tomorrow. Okay, I see some sad faces, man. Hey see some sad faces so let's check the second one maybe okay i think this is a guy and i think he's also here i don't have the second name but i think i see him i think i see him let's check let's check out oh, it's so exciting i have to do this more often maybe i'm gonna give my energies back back to you guys next time that's exciting huh Okay, I think the person also does not have, unfortunately, the camera on. I hated those. I never win in this in this shitty competition. So now I'm telling you guys that I see here, oh, you don't have the, the camera on and you don't win. <laughs> okay, so the second one, guys, I cannot do anything, right? The second one is Emils. I think he's here on the call. I think Emils Laurist, if, I, if I'm not wrong. So big congrats to you also. If you want to put on your camera, that that's, would be great. But you, of course, you don't have to. Okay, so last one. So big congrats. Last one. Let me check if she's here. I think not. I think not. Maybe, maybe it's her. Okay. Who is Hannah here? Is Hannah here? Hannah. Is Hannah here? Hannah Simmons. Is she here? Hannah Simmons. Okay, she's not here, unfortunately. But I but I won't able to, I won't able to, to give it to another person, unfortunately. But I think I'm gonna do it the next time. Huh? I'm gonna do it the next time. I'm doing this live. So if I do the next call, I'm doing this live. But guys. We have to be we we have to be nice. We have to be positive. So big big congrats to those guys that just won the NFT. Next time, maybe you get one. I hope for you guys. It's so so nice that so many people are here on the camera. So I would say we have ten thirty in Germany. That was a great call. It was fun. It was fun. It was very nice to see you guys. And yeah, I'm beyond grateful that you. <laughs> Fucking me. Yeah. Hey man, don't use this word. This is this is so disgusting, man. So let let's just be positive in the chat, right? Because if you didn't win, you don't have to be uh, negative in any way, right? So just be positive, uh, and you will, yeah, you know, get back positivity. So that's my motto of the day. That's my quote of the day. Let's be positive. Next time you will eventually win, and um, yeah, get back to the person that invited you. Can you share your Instagram in the chat? My Instagram is as follows. I'm going to put in a chat. 
you can all add me there. <laughs> I can also do it with my name. So yeah, if you have any questions left, feel free to ask it, but get back to the person that invited you here. I use this a great opportunity in NFTs and I hope even though you don't use NFT, like you, you don't use iGenius for NFTs, uh, I hope you get successful in this space. And yeah, I wish you all the best, um, especially this time. Stay positive, stay healthy, especially. And yeah, we're going to see each other a second time in, my, in, in life eventually. So yeah, thanks a lot for all of you guys. It was fun. Uh, actually, I, I knew about this call today, like two hours ago, that I have to do it <laughs> because Miguel had to fly. But yeah, it was, was very fun. It was very fun. And as I, as I say, my Instagram is and here. I'm going to put it here. So if you guys want to add me, you can do. All right. I would say I'm going to put some music on. You can let, leave. And then in five minutes, I will close this chat. And yeah. Auf Zeichnung.